So it's Tuesday. Our plan, we are here in Yanga, in Quilu region. We are planning, we have big plans today. First big plan is breakfast. This is where we're staying. I'm kidding, we're not. We're staying in these little pink ones. And that's where I'm walking to right now. So we're gonna go to the little clinic in town. We're gonna walk there. I think it's like two kilometers maybe from here. And then we are going to maybe go to the beach. That is our very small itinerary. Hi! So today we mostly spent our time around Yanga. We visited the local school and the clinic there and got to talk to the health professionals who work at the clinic. It was what you would imagine as a clinic. It was small, there was two people working there, there was a couple patients. We also met with the chief of the village and the secretary of the village and went to the secretary's yeah, restaurant slash store he has. Let's see. Went to the beach. It's supposed to be about five miles away. This beach. It's supposed to be about five miles away. It was definitely more than five miles. Five miles is as the crow flies and not as the truck drives. <laughs> uh, apparently the Chinese have overfished it though, but there's a billion crabs, all super tiny though. What else do you want to find out about this area? Well, it'll be nice to talk to more of the local villagers and find out what's going on here, aside from the very, very optimistic viewpoint of their leaders. Also, all of the health clinics in the area and hospitals seem to get a much smaller patient load than the population would be to expect. And so, talk to the people and see if they actually go to the clinics or if they're going to traditional doctors and like what their approach to that sort of stuff is. And if they're not going to the clinics and hospitals that are available and they're not going to the native doctors, doctors, uh, then why are they not doing any of those things? It's every October. It is Wednesday and we are walking in the village of Yanga and we're going to be trying to talk to some people, get more information and see what we hear from the, the local inhabitants. Mm -hmm. And I have a funny thing on my head because the running water turned on again right before we left so I figured I should wash my hair while I had the opportunity. And I felt like I looked silly but then I remember that a lot of ladies just walk around with these things on their heads. So it's fine. I'm trying not to be self-conscious. So this is the eucalyptus forest. <laughs> So on Thursday, we drove all the way north to a town called Kola, Route National Number 5. And in that town, Kola, they had um, a health center that was built by the Italian fuel or petroleum company, Eni. And it was built in 2008 and dedicated. And it was good to see this larger uh, community health center, though it was not, um, there weren't a lot of staff or patients there. Uh, but they did have a good building. And on our way back, we stopped at some other health centers. Uh, we visited the Post of Health in UV and also in Kutu. And everywhere we go, it seemed like they have good buildings, but not enough people to work there and not enough uh, equipment or supplies. Um, so, we, but we were encouraged by the fact that, hey, there's good buildings, there's in, good infrastructure, but they would really need some training and better qualified personnel to, to staff those centers and better 
supply routes so that they could stay supplied and supported. So on Friday, we met with the manager, the site, site manager, and he took us over to see two houses that, are, that would be available for us to, to live in or members of our team. The next thing is we did go and meet with the chef de terre, who's like the traditional land owner of the area where they are proposing that we would put a hospital or build a hospital. And he was quite nice and he told us that him and everybody in town, they really want their town to develop. And what the thing, what towns need to develop is good education and good health care. And they also ha have a church, so, you know, worshiping God, taking care of the body, taking care of the spirit, and um, taking care of the brain. So all those things are good, and it seemed like a good perspective that he had. And he was very happy to show us the parcel, and he said he would get it all, um, the, the land, and he would get it all mapped up for it. Um, put out boundary stones to make it clear where, where the property is, where it begins and ends. But we took a good look at the site and it seems like very good land and it's, it's fertile land. Oh, and then Friday night we went camping on the beach mm -hmm. and we went down to Joy Beach, which is where you can go on this path that's easy to lose and not know where you are anymore. Because it's in tall grass, we went down to the, it goes right out to the beach through the little forest and there's a grove of palm trees there. And we, the Holland set up their hammocks with mosquito net, and we had a mosquito tent that we stayed in that night. And that was fun uh, to camp out on the beach. So this was an investigative trip to just get a lot more answers to what setting up a new work, a new hospital, a new clinic, a new something would mean. And the phase that we're at now, just deciding, I guess, if we're really going to do this, if we can really do this. Um, and so that's obviously going to require authorization to do so. It's going to require agreements with different people and organizations. And so this is by no means like an announcement that, oh, we're going to start something new in a new part of the country. This is just the phase that we're at. And so we appreciate your prayers about, as a, we seek discernment and wisdom about what to do and how to do it and just for us to be sensitive to the leading of the Holy Spirit.